IBM has dropped a lot of nano language models. These models are compact, efficient and for edge devices. In this video, we are going to install one of them, which is just 350 million parameter in size and it is instruction following tuned plus I will be testing it out on various benchmarks, especially on multilinguality plus function call. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So this is the model which we are going to cover and by the way if you are interested in other IBM models as you can see I have covered each and every model released by IBM over the last one and a half year. So please do check it out. So let's get right into the installation and then we will see how exactly this model works. I am going to use this Ubuntu system as you can see here and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM but given the size of the model you can run it on CPU of any size and kind and I will also show you the VRAM consumption. If you are looking to rent a CPU or VM or GPU on very affordable price you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. And now let's install all the prerequisites which are primarily torch and transformers. Let's run this. While that happens, let me quickly introduce you to our very good friends at Gradient who are sponsoring this video. They have also open sourced this Parallax which is a distributed model serving framework that lets you build your own AI cluster anywhere using heterogeneous hardware including NVIDIA and Apple Silicon. Parallax is not just another local LLM runner, it is a path to open intelligence, providing a system to run large AI models like Quen3235 billion locally or across geographies without relying on expensive cloud providers. So please do check them out because you are not logged into a single model and no one can access, alter or shut it off without your permission. While it installs all the prerequisites, let's talk a bit more about this model which seems quite impressive to me. Again, IBM has released it under the Apache 2 license. This is built on Granite 4H350 million base foundation model and then they fine tuned using a mix of open source and synthetic instruction data sets through supervised fine tuning, reinforcement learning and model merging techniques. The great thing is that even this small model supports 12 languages including English, German, Spanish, French and various other European languages and I will test it out. Also, this is specifically designed for on-device deployment and resource constraint environments. But nonetheless, it supports a lot of tasks like RAG, function call, fill in the middle support, text classification and a lot of other things. And I will be showing you a few of them. The lightweight architecture is what makes it very suitable for fine tuning even further on specialized domains without requiring extensive computational resources. Everything is installed. Now let's log into Hugging Face in order to download the model. So I'm just okay, so I'm already logged in. If you are not logged in, just grab your read token from Hugging Face profile and give it to HF auth login and you should be logged in and that's a free token by the way and then you can download this model by running this command the hugging face uh, CLI command okay sorry I just need to give the right command here so they have changed the CLI as um, from H hugging face CLI to just HF and this time it has downloaded the model it's a very small model as you can see and it was downloaded in a Chiffy very very quickly so just 681 mac that's it and now let's do the inference for that i'm just going to launch my jupyter notebook and now let's load our model so what i'm going to do i'm uh, going to do is just to use device as cpu if you want to use your gpu just put cuda here so and then it will be loaded onto your gpu but first let's try it out on CPU to see the speed and this is a model which is already downloaded. Let's load it 
and the model is fully loaded onto our CPU now. And if you look at this output, this is actually quite interesting, especially when we have evaluated the model. The model is a causal model with 32 decoder layers and 768 dimensional embeddings, which is quite normal. The model uniquely alternates between two types of layer. Most layer from 0 to 9, 11 to 12, 14 to 16 use MABA state space blocks with conv ID operations for efficient sequence modeling, while strategic layers from 10, 13, 17, 27, they use traditional grouped query attention with a 768 query to 256 key value projection ratio. All layers include a sparse mixture of expert component with top K gating and a shared MLP with 4096 intermediate dimension with CLU activation and RMS norm for layer normalization. So <clears throat> I'm quite surprised to see this whole hybrid Mamba attention mixture of expert design that allows this just 350 million parameter model to achieve long range context processing through Mamba's linear complexity while maintaining the representational power of attention at key positions. So very, very interesting model design and architecture, um, which I haven't really seen much. So really, really good stuff. Okay, so now let's do the inference first. So for the inference, I'm using the simple code where we are asking it to list one programming language created by Google and only output its name and primary use case. We are tokenizing it, model is generating the output, we are printing it out. Now given the model size, make sure that you use um, simple outputs because if you're looking to generate very uh, high sort of creative writing, that is not going to work. And for very complex coding tasks, simply this is not going to work. So we have to be realistic in testing too. I will be pushing some boundaries here, but still the fact of the matter is for these sort of models, we have to be very specific like you can see in this use case. So let's run this. And while it runs, let me quickly show you my CPU configuration and memory. So this is my CPU, which is quite beefy. Um, and also the memory is quite good. Meanwhile, it has come back. So you see, this is much how long it takes in terms of response. And it says the programming language created by Google is Java. The primary use case is software development. What do you think? Java was created by Sun Microsystem long time back. And I think it is now owned by Oracle. So that answer is incorrect. Let's try out one more in on the same lines. So I'm asking it, please list one search engine company founded in 98, only output its name and headquarter location. And this time model has got the company right, Google, but it didn't display me the headquarters. Okay, let's try out one more. So I'm going to ask it, what is the new name of the country Swaziland? And there you go. This was a hard one. The model has got it right. So it says, the um, new name of Swaziland is Eswatini and I believe that was changed in 2018 or somewhere like that. So this is pretty impressive. And I have just checked a basic fact like what color do you get when you mix blue and yellow? Only provide the color name and it has come up with the green. So factually the basic fact it gets right. As soon as you just deviate from a bit of a harder one, it starts it gives a bit of a wrong answer, but even as you saw for geography one, Swaziland's Eswatini, that's not an easy question, but it got it right. So that is impressive. Let's do one quick math one. And this math question is a bit hard where 15 multiplied by four and divided by seven, and it has got it right, 8.57. Another cool thing is instruction following. It is only producing the number. You see, I'm just asking it only provide the number, nothing else. So it doesn't provide anything else, which is quite impressive for these smaller models. And that is what we need on our edge devices. Okay, now let me show you a function calling capability and then we will check the multilinguality. Now for the function or tool call, I'm going to simply use this code where I'm providing it a tool. And what I'm trying to test is that if model can correctly extract the bill amount, which is 45 and tip percentage 20, 
and format them as a proper tool call. Remember, function call tool call um, feature for the model simply means that whenever you give it a natural language prompt, it is able to convert it into a function call after checking its tool repository. So that is what I'm going to test. So for example, when I ask it this simple natural language question, it would match it with these tools and then it will extract this information as per this parameter. And that is what we are trying to see if model can generate that function call or not. And later uh, in your own application, you need to actually call that tool. So let me run this. And this is, I think, one of the best thing I have seen so far with this model that it was able to perform the tool calling correctly. It identified the need to use a calculative function, which we defined, extracted the bill amount 45, as you can see. And then it has also extracted the tip percentage. It formatted the tool call with correct JSON syntax and even used proper XML tag. So it is working quite well. Okay, let's now check the multilinguality. Okay, so I'm starting with this sentence, spend less than what you earn. I have also added Hindi and Indonesian, which is not mentioned in it, supported one, but the others are supported. And if I show you, I don't think so model has done quite well. It has understood and recognized the languages, but as Google Translate tells me, there are a lot of mistakes in German, Spanish, Japanese, and French. So, Recognition of language is there, but I think the accurate translation is not there. But um, please let me know if you are that language speaker. What do you think? So I'm just going to go with a way simpler one given the model size. So this time the sentence is how much is this? If I show you the output, I think this time model has done pretty well as per Google Translate. And it has produced mostly correct translations. Uh, like German, Spanish, Japanese. Um, I'm not, your yeah, French looks good too, but maybe I just see that there are two, this C, A, C, A. I know it's not C in French, something like something else, but I don't know. Let me know. Um, and some of the languages, it didn't even produce any result, which is good. Um, I think Arabic doesn't look good to me. I think conveys the meaning but maybe it doesn't completely but let me know if you are that language speaker but other than that given the size of the model which is just 350 million the performance is not bad at all so good stuff by ibm let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel please become a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support